The goal is to set up an additional Joomla in a subfolder of the root for digitalpublishing.tv. To do so, though, I want to first install it on a local machine, on a local server, and I'm going to use MAMP Pro in this case. MAMP Pro is an application for Macintosh, so it's Macintosh, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. You might find other version for Windows will be WAMP, W a -M -P, Windows, Apache, MySQL, and uh, PHP. MAMP for Macintosh set up the htdocs folder within application MAMP and htdocs. There it is. This is the root. And I can find it into my finder right here, htdocs. I'm going to set up a team from Rocket Team using a rocket launcher that contains the template, it contains the extension, and contains Joomla as well. I'm going to make a copy of the rocket launcher within the HD docs and I'm going to unzip it. Once I unzip the rocket launcher, the HD docs folder will be populated with all the files that I need to run Joomla. So I'm going to copy all the folders and all the files and drag them into the root of HD docs. Now I can take and trash the main folder and the zip. So basically within the HD docs, I have all the documents required to run a Joomla on a local machine. I can go back to my MAMP Pro and I can click onto the little house of local host on this site and it will automatically open the page within the browser. This is the installation for Joomla. I'm going to jump back to my MAMP Pro server because I need to go to the web start first to set up my database. Therefore, I'm going to click this icon web start it brings me to the welcome to the month page. I need to click on uh, PHP My Admin to create both the database and the user to manage the database. I'm going to click on uh, Privilege first and I'm going to create a new user. Now I can create a new user based on whatever name I decide. In this case, I'm going to make it simple. I'm going to call it Joomla. I'm also gonna define the host. This one by default should be local host. I'm gonna define a password that I can easily remember. And I type the password one more time. Now, before committing and pressing go at the bottom right of the page, I need to create a database with the same name and grant all the privileges. Therefore, now I can press go. It's asking me what privilege I want to grant. I'm going to click uh, check all and I press go one more time. There you go. It's done. I have set up my database called Joomla, which the user called Joomla as well can fully edit. I'm going back to the setup tab in my browser and I'm choosing English as first language. I'm going to progress by clicking next on the top right corner of the page for the first three pages until I reach the page of the database configuration. Here I have to set database type MySQL, localhost will be for the host name. I'm going to the user, in this case it's going to be Joomla. I'm going to type the password that I just chose and also the database name will be Joomla. I'm going to press next. Now Joomla create the connection with the database and ask me if I want to set up a FTP configuration. I don't really need it right now, so I can press next. He asked me for the name of the website. I'm going to call this one Test Joomla. I also have to define my email. And I also have to define the password for my admin account. Here, for those who have just set up Joomla for the first time, notice that the username by default for Joomla 1.5 is admin. So here is the password for admin. I'm going to type a simple password that I can remember and I decide to install sample data. By clicking the install sample data button, Joomla is going to install dummy articles that help me to visualize better the entire template. In this case, I'm doing it for the sake of the speed. We are going to imagine that I have already worked on the website and developed many pages using the content that my client passed me. Now I can press next. It asks me to completely remove the installation directory. It refers to my finder where I have an installation directory and I have to put it in the trash simply using my 
command delete shortcut. It reminds me that the username by default is admin and it asks me whether I want to access the site or the admin. In this case, I can click uh, the site and there you go. This is my localhost Joomla installed on uh, localhost uh, column 8888 and is run by MAMP. Anything I click will work and it will uh, process the data very quickly because the connection between my computer and the server are instantaneous. Now what I can do, I can add a slash administrator to the URL and log in with the password that I just created and the username admin. Once I'm in, these work exactly like a Joomla installed on a server online, but in this case is on a local server. Now I want to back up everything I've done for this Joomla website and put it online on my server. I need a additional extension, so I'm going to go to extensions and install and install, and I choose the package that I've saved into my folder. I'm going to install Akiba Backup by pressing open, upload file and install. There you go, Akiba Backup has been installed. It can be downloaded for free from the URL akibabackup.com. I'm going to go back to my backend and I'm going to click on site control panel. Now you see there is an extra icon here that says that a backup is required. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to click on backup now. It is going to process the backup, initializing the backup process, embedding the installer in the archive, backing up the database, backing up the file and finalizing the backup process. There is a loading bar that tells us how long is left. Now this one is completed. And I can carry on by going back to my control panel and the actual control panel of uh, Joomla. It says the, the backup is up to date. Basically, the local machine has a backed up uh, Joomla that I've installed using the template called Modulus. And that's what we have just backed up.